Hey, my name is Tanisha and welcome to my channel, Her True Crime. Over here, I'll be recapping and discussing true crimes committed by and against women. So if you're new here, well, you're all new here because it, this is my first video. So do me a favor, please like this video and subscribe to the channel. And sharing is caring, so feel free to share with your family and your friends. I truly, truly appreciate it. Today's video is a missing persons case. These type of cases hit a little different for me because it's a mystery. Like people don't just go missing or vanish into thin air. For the families of these missing people, my heart goes out to them because they don't have any answers. They have no closure. They don't know if their loved one is alive, deceased, if they're being held captive, or if they just decided to leave on their own will. They simply just don't know. The longer a person goes missing, the longer the moon stays open for the families. And this is especially the case for the beautiful, vibrant, young Lakira Goldsmith, affectionately known as Pig. 20-year-old Lakira was last seen on November 27, 2018, outside of the home she shared with her grandmother and toddler son on Narrow Lane Road in Montgomery, Alabama. That night, she went out with her boyfriend. Once they finished their date, he dropped Lakira off in front of her home. Her granny remembers seeing her get out of his car, but what she didn't remember is hearing Lakira come back inside of the home. She thought nothing of it and probably just went back to sleep. Apparently, Lakira wasn't ready to call it a night because shortly after being dropped off by her boyfriend, she approached the maintenance worker at her apartment complex and asked to use a cell phone. He said he gave it to her and stepped away to give her a little privacy. He came back shortly after and noticed his cell phone sitting on the stairs, but no Lakira. That was the last reported sighting of Lakira. Lakira has a young son named Armani. At the time of her disappearance, he was about two years old. The night that Lakira went missing, her mom, Marcelle Goldsmith, babysat her grandson so that her daughter could go out and have a good time. When nobody heard from Lakira and her Facebook went silent, her family knew something was wrong. They knew she wouldn't just ignore everyone, stop posting on her Facebook, and most importantly, she would never, ever abandon her adorable little son. Plus, she suffers from severe asthma and takes medication, so she wouldn't just leave her medication behind. Lakira's mom went to the authorities to report her daughter missing, but it appears that they didn't take it seriously. Unfortunately, that happens a little bit too often when the victim is African-American, a lot of the time it's left up to the family to get the word out and to search for their loved ones because they get little to no press or assistance from the police. Even though the police are paid and sworn in to protect and serve the people. But you know that already, so I won't bore you with the disappointing facts about how cases involving crimes committed against people of color are often overlooked. But back to what really matters at the moment, and that's the cura. Where is Lakira? In January 2020, Marcelle, Lakira's mom, was a guest on The Mari Show, where she was able to share her story about the quest to find her daughter. Mari hired world-renowned psychic medium Jeffrey Wands to help in the search for Lakira. At the initial meeting, Jeffrey was able to give Marcelle some information about her daughter that a typical person that wasn't watching the news or reading the newspaper would know about her. He even gave some clues that could possibly help with finding Lakira or at least find the person responsible for her disappearance. He was so hopeful that he predicted that we could find some information or they could find some information in as soon as a few months. But 20 months later and Lakira is still missing. There haven't been any public updates to the case, so we don't know if the information given by the psychic proved useful. Uh, Jeffrey the psychic did mention it seemed as though Lakira was still alive, but that was 20 months ago. Is she still here with us? I sure hope so because she has a beautiful baby boy that's waiting for his mom to return. She's also got a loving mom who never gave up on finding her baby.
They have an active Facebook group called Where is Lakira? Where her mom and looks like some family members possibly are actually posting on the group just to keep the awareness up and to also share pictures of Lakira and her family. Her mom actually recently shared an adorable picture of Lakira's son Armani on his first day of kindergarten. I'm a mom too and man that hurt. That post really made my heart hurt. Because looking at that little boy's smile and to know that he doesn't have his mom, it hurts tremendously. Like, who could take this innocent little boy's mom away from him? LaCure also does have a brother and a sister as well as a host of family and friends that are still hopeful that she will return to them. At the time of her disappearance, LaCure was just 20 years old. She's about 5 feet 5 inches tall and weighed about 150 pounds. She has brown eyes and black hair, but at the time, she was wearing a long blonde hairstyle with black roots. She has a lower lip piercing and a tongue piercing. And as of today, again, there haven't been any public updates on the case. The family has been reaching out to law enforcement and the governor to persuade them to offer reward money for tips that may lead to finding Lakira. To help with these efforts, there is a petition that was started at change.org. They need to get at least 1,000 signatures so that the petition can be featured in the recommendations. More eyes could equate to more signatures. So I encourage you to fill it out. It's super simple. Just fill out your name and email address. So if you're interested in helping out, I've dropped the link in the description box below. I searched for a GoFundMe but wasn't able to find an active one. But I did find a fundraiser for Lakira through Custom Inc., you can purchase a t-shirt for $25 to support the cause and the family. The link for that is also below in the description box. With this case, there's so little information available and I have so many questions like, who did LaCura call that night and did she reach that person? If so, did that person come and pick her up? Um, there were security cameras in the vicinity of where LaCura was seen last at the apartment complex. But due to the fact that the police were slow to respond, the footage of that um, security cam footage was recorded over you guys. Like apparently the apartment complex, they record over the footage every 30 days. So by the time the police actually took it seriously, that security footage was long gone. Um, I wasn't able to find any information on any suspects or any information on Lakira's boyfriend. So I can only assume that he was cleared and wasn't a suspect or he was cleared as a suspect. So do any of you live in Montgomery, Alabama? Have you heard anything recent about this case? Do you possibly have any information, no matter how big or small? If you think you may, please help out the family by contacting Crime Stopper at 334 two one five seven eight six seven i'm sending the family hope and healing vibes and lakira if you're out there i hope you're well and will make it back to your family as quickly and as safely as possible I want to thank you guys for watching please like and subscribe and share drop a comment if you decided to sign the petition or purchase a t-shirt until next time be safe out there